So for those of you who had no idea what that teddy bear looking thing on the calendar was, it was a Moogle from Final Fantasy. Hey, you try finding an icon that summed up the entire series, and especially when the review subject is a box of figurines from all over the game's history. This is Creature's Kai, a figure line that, like most FF toys, ignores any games before number 10, back when the games were still good. And cue angry Final Fantasy fans in 5, 4, 3, 2... Volume 5 is mostly from older games, though. Except for this Bahamut Zero, which is from Final Fantasy Type Zero. And it's everything about the modern art direction for the series I don't like. Over-detailed, over-ornamented, way overthought. Credit for the spell circles that act as his base for the dragon's impractically huge wings, but beyond that, it's a busy design that really doesn't work for me. Then there's three from Final Fantasy VIII, and first is Shiva, a blue ice spirit as you'd expect. The detailing here is nice, and her display is, naturally, a wall of ice crystals that look quite good. Hair's molding makes her uncooperative on a shelf display, but overall, good representation. Then there's Alexander, who is smaller than Shiva, which is wrong. This was always one of my favorite summons. I love the idea of combining the castle and the knight who protects it. Such a creative design. Love the sculpt and paintwork on this one. It's tiny, but it seems huge, which is right for the character. Then there's the bombs, cast in fiery translucent orange. There's a lot of love going into this one, with the inside of their mouths sculpted and painted as a gold vortex that leads to who knows where. Along with the gold paint to get the look of fire, the base is awesome, with more bombs trying to bubble up through a floor of magma. Seriously nice work on this one. And then there's the star of the set. Kefka from Final Fantasy VI, for my money, the best villain to grace a video game console. Here he's closer to his Dissidia design, based closer to his original concept art than anything. Also not sure about the pose, a little odd. No arguing the paintwork though, Kefka's colors are as chaotic as his mind is, but it's handled very well here. And really. Final Fantasy VI gets so little merch, I'm thrilled to see anything related. The box set of five is a nice throwback for fans like me who jumped ship after number nine. Even if I didn't like the games they're from, I can appreciate the design work that still reminds me of the days I called this my favorite franchise. Except for that Bahamut. Screw him. So. Next up on Toy Sember, I feel like another Transformer foursome, and this one's gonna be a little bit more special for me. To see what it is, as always, wait till we open tomorrow's present. Music